What's going on YouTube? I wanted to make a video now, the next part in my cheat engine tutorials. Basically just using uh, the same techniques that we've used through the previous two or three videos that I have posted. This is just to give you an idea to start thinking in terms of everything that you can try to modify. Um, you know, typical things are like health and coins, money, experience, whatever, things like that. But there are other things that will come up that you'll start noticing in games that maybe you want to, you know, hack or whatever, or change or cheat, whatever. So <clears throat> this game, DLC Quest, uh, it's a really fun game, um, funny more than anything, that basically makes fun of how much DLC you have to buy in games nowadays. Um, in this game, they make you buy DLC just to move left. Uh, crazy stuff like that. It's pretty fun. Anyway, uh, this part that we are coming up to here, I'm going to go ahead and continue the game. This guy, to, he says, for you to get the sword, you need to use that grindstone right here. Uh, well, let's see. Let's click out of it. Okay, never mind. I can't use my mouse pointer over it. Anyway, um, you need to use that grindstone over there and turn it like a revolution of 10,000 times. So you have to hit the X button 10,000 times to get your sword. If you don't want to do that, then you go get the DLC for like 15 coins that you collect in the game uh, to have every one revolution of the wheel be equal to like a thousand turns or something. So anyway, what if you actually wanted to hit it 10,000 times and go to that wheel and see what would happen? Well, we can use Cheat Engine to do that to find out. So, I'm going to talk to this guy. Need a sword, yes. I need to sharpen on this grindstone. 10,000 turns, alright? So, you see the little bar there that pops up. I'm going to hit X. Alright, so that's one. And I'm just going to hit X a bunch of times. Let's see if we can get that blue, that little blue, uh, counter there inside the bar see how long it takes for it to move up at all so there's the DLC I could go buy in the game <laughs> with coins that I find to make this process go significantly faster that blue bar has not moved okay there we go we got it to move just a tiny bit so if you really wanted to sit here and press this button 10,000 times to get the sword then you could do that well, let's fire up Cheat Engine and see if we can make that happen significantly faster. Alright, so we're going to bring up the DLC quest, attach it. Alright, and since I don't know how they're going to represent the value for that, I'm going to select all, and then unknown initial value since we don't know what it is. So let's do a first scan. Alright, now we're going to continue the game and we're going to hit X. Alright, and we know that that probably increased a value. So we're going to search for an increased value. Alright, so let's continue game and then let's hit X again. And next scan for increased value. Alright, now we can do an unchanged value since we see some numbers fluctuating here just to try to pare down results. Okay, that took a lot away, that's good. Now I'll go to increased value. Again, hit X. Next scan. All right. X, 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 X. Just keep pressing it. Because hopefully we're just continuously incrementing a value or increasing it. Scan. We're getting down to uh, a nice low set of results here. Let's do unchanged value and see if we can drop them down some more. Oh yeah. Change value again. Alright. So let's uh, hit X a few more times. Increased value. Next scan. 108. Continue game. Do it again. Next scan. Alright, so it looks like things are staying the same here, and sometimes you'll get this. Um, especially because we've got all selected, and see how 
this memory address and this one and this one and this one. It's all the same. Remember the colon and then the number or letter afterwards simply uh, shows that that's how it's representing the value type of what's in that memory address, right? Because we selected all here. So it's going to show us that the value is being represented as 4 bytes, 8 bytes, etc. So basically any of these four, whatever you modify in any of these, it's going to change through all four of them. You see what I mean? So here's one where we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So really we don't have 108 results. We have, you know, one of these, one of these, you know what I mean? So anyway... Now that it looks like all these values are maybe tied to turning that wheel, let's try unchanged value. Two more drop down. Let's try it one more time here. All right. See in the red here, that means all these values changed. So all this stuff is uh, incrementing as we use that wheel. So let's just take a guess here. Um, you know, I like to go for, you know, more manageable looking numbers like this. So I'm just going to take a look here and taking a guess that maybe it's actually going to count up to 10,000. Remember the guy said 10,000 turns. Um, I don't think we've turned that wheel or hit X 523 times yet. I'm going to say maybe 168 possibly, 221 maybe. Uh, let's see, 199 maybe. I'm going to say, let's try this one first, the 168. All right. And uh, I'll just try this one. All right, so let's go to continue game here. Cancel. Continue game. All right, now, hopefully if we change this value, it'll make that blue bar shoot up even higher so let's just try changing this to a uh, thousand see what happens all right go back to the game here let's hit X and see if that changes anything boom it significantly jumped up so that's looking good every time we hit X here it goes up one see over here goes up by one every time so it looks like we found our value here so let's go to uh, let's set it to 9999 click OK and hopefully if we hit X one more time it's gonna take us to our 10,000 boom some things in life are worth doing the hard way this probably wasn't one of them so yeah, you can actually get the sword by doing this. And there I have my sword. And it's all good. So, yeah, that's just another way that you can use Cheat Engine to find values. You know, um, you have to just start thinking in terms of increased and decreased values. You know, forget about the fact that it's health or coins or. 10,000 spins of a grindstone or you know whatever you just have to start thinking in terms of am I incrementing a value you know is something increasing am I gaining life or is the value being decreased am I losing life am I losing money losing health hit points whatever am I gaining experience increased value you know so um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much, I think I'll go ahead and make this the last little video unless I find another particularly interesting scenario I want to point out with this. Um, but, yeah, if you can just start thinking in terms of increased value and decreased value, you know, the code behind the scenes, what's going on in memory, um, and remember your value types, then that will put you off to a really good start with you know a lot of scenarios that you'll be looking for things from so anyway I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration here uh, feel free to 
ask me any questions, leave comments or whatever. I'll be glad to help however I can. And I'll be back with another video soon. I'll probably be diving into some more complex stuff. So um, if you're still kind of lost, just go back and watch the other videos some more. I promise things will begin to click as you see the examples demonstrated over and over. And um, you know, if you've still got some issues, I'll try to help leave some comments. Other people like to chime in and help as well. So uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll be back with the next video soon. Take care.